Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's everyone's favourite time of the week, Brick Haul O'Clock, with another package from Bricklink.com, and a few other things. <coughs> now before I get on to the main event of the package, and this little envelope type thing here, I do want to show you a few other things. Last time I got these as part of the uh, Mermaid Vibes dot set for 1909, and people wondered what I was going to use them for. Well, I'm just going to wear them. Uh, as you can see, they look rather fetching. I think you'll agree. Uh, no, not really. They're actually <laughs> cutting off circulation to my hands. Oh, relief. So I will actually be uh, getting rid of those probably, <laughs> or hopefully using them as some sort of uh, interesting uh, sign or something like that. I have no idea. But nonetheless, I thought I'd show you those on. Uh, another thing from last time, very briefly, was this uh, minifigure kind of hat in a way that was from the uh, Lego Batman movie for the character Orca and I've just added that modified one by one brick hopefully you can see even though it's black uh, with two kind of horn pieces or tooth pieces that look like uh, uh, pectoral fin fins um, and I thought that looked quite good it's a bit angular there on the bottom uh, and there is a red trans sort of headpiece in there but that's what I was sort of talking about last time and I think at the right angle that will look like a kind of natural uh, beastie of the deep uh, and at least the bottom of that gives me a sort of way of attaching it to something else like a sort of trans uh, bar piece or something like that so anyway that's from last time as well uh, a lot of you have said that you're actually interested in my other purchases outside uh, the actual halls themselves like of official sets and so on so I can report that the Daily Bugle has arrived unfortunately I haven't made any inroads into it whatsoever because of uh, family duties and things like that over the weekend uh, but I will be getting on with that relatively soon I hope so that's really good news uh, and another thing I bought that was a brand new set was 31104 the monster burger truck now when this came out and isn't it wonderful check out that suspension um, <laughs> when this was released i looked at the pictures and i wasn't that impressed i thought oh another monster truck big deal uh but then eventually it became on amazon use my link if you're interested uh for 22 pounds uh, which was over 50 percent off uh, and I always go to Brickset, uh, the website, and you can see on a section of that website where the uh, current discounts are summarised, which prevents, uh, or rather is a better way of looking for things rather than getting all those uh, kind of annoying <laughs> uh, listings that the individual YouTube uh, providers send you with the individual deals. I think it's much easier to look at them all in one go and see if anything uh, strikes your fancy. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, when this appeared, uh, on that list for such a big discount I took a second look and well it's rather fantastic uh, not only because of its size for that price but because I could really use this as a monster burger bar in my fairground I thought uh, and my first uh, thought was not another monster truck what I could do is actually pare this down a great deal it's currently an eight wide build uh, but what I could do is a complete rehash of this to actually make it a six wide build like all the other sort of trucks in my city and I could have it selling monster burgers alongside my ice cream truck 60253 or my pizza van 60150. Uh, but then I thought just because of its hilarious sort of bouncy nature this huge burger on the top and the fact which I also didn't realize that you can kind of open this bit and pull out these amazing steps so a minifigure can make their way up to the hatch to get their monster burger <laughs> which in itself is an absolute lego triumph uh, I've actually made mine a little bit better by using the scooby-doo uh, sesame seed bun pieces to make these uh, monster burgers even better and I've made a second one uh, and they're just the sort of humor I go for uh, in my city an absolutely oversized ridiculous meal so I've got two options really with this is whether to actually keep it as a monster truck and just have it parked up in my fairground as is which I'm actually leaning a bit more towards now or to go ahead with that original idea of converting it to a six wide build and it'll probably have to shrink a bit that way front to back as well but keeping the big burger the big sign on the front the hatch uh, and all the rest of it but obviously with some much more reasonable wheels but you know I think this whole stairway thing is pretty fun and well it's great to play with I mean this suspension really works uh, I wonder so yeah I like it and you get 
figures and tables, chairs, uh, and even a wonderful brick-built dog uh, who looks like he's doing something a bit shameful uh, at that exact moment. <laughs> but nonetheless, so that's one of the purchases I've also made in addition to the Bugle set this week. Great. Right, so on to my other purchases. Uh, and this is something very vital to the current build. It's very thin, uh, but very important, and that's because it was protected. Uh, so this is very rare. This is uh, a very old uh, sticker sheet from about 1991, and it's for all of the My Own Train uh, range of locomotives. Uh, and tenders indeed, like 3740 and 3741. And it's exactly what I need to augment my current build of my own steam train uh, to make my kind of currently very plain looking black uh, locomotive and tender really, really interesting with all this silver outlining and sort of engine detail. So when I saw these were available, and this came from mainland Europe, uh, I thought I just had to go ahead and get one of them just because of all of, of the wonderful uh, colour that it represents. And maybe you can see it on camera or maybe you can't, but these are all sort of silver outlines. So it looks very realistic and very impressive, I must say. So I'm very happy to uh, have this. And I'm really glad that some people have kept some original sticker sheets for what is pretty much 30 years <laughs> in such great condition. So hopefully none of the sticky has gone. I don't think it would have done. There's no reason to suspect that. So yeah, very, very happy to receive that. So I'll keep that out there. Uh, and then we come on to the box itself, which is, as I say, is from Bricklink. Uh, this is actually from uh, a friend of the channel called David, who's also a subscriber. And he also sent me a wonderfully generous gift of a 30 pound Bricklink voucher to use in his own store which has made it uh, a wonderful gift indeed, because I got to actually choose the bits that I was gifted. So thank you very much, David, for that. That was incredibly generous of you, uh, and it is greatly appreciated. So I'll just check that this is all displayable, and it does look like it. So we've got a reused Lego box, which is always nice to see. A very well-packaged order. I guess he knew it would be appearing on the channel. <laughs> And we've got another nice little uh, protective sachet for another sticker sheet. So I may as well start there. I think there's just one. Yeah, that's right. So this is a very colourful sticker sheet from a friend set. 41444 Heart Lake City Organic Cafe, which is presumably where you go for all of your goji berry granola and your uh, bamboo charcoal smoothies. Yep. Neither. Nope, no idea. <laughs> um, but I liked it just for a few of the stickers. One was this sort of uh, one up here with all these vegetables on that I thought I could use uh, at my supermarket when I get that done. So we seem to have some cucumber, carrots and uh, tomatoes there. Uh, but even more, this open sign, these wonderful big tablecloths that will go on the new round uh, three by three tiles. Uh, and these ones, which are for seat cushions, I think. Uh, which go on the normal 2x2 two two round tiles. So I thought they were lovely and colourful. Uh, and it might be I can use some of the other ones as well, and that cafe sign, no doubt, as well. And there's even some sort of recycling signs there as well. So yeah, I thought that was a really good sticker sheet to get. So that is that. I can put that next to my other one. Uh, and then look at the rest of this order. Now, the thing that I was designing at the point of this was a train build. Yes, another train build. Uh, I'm, I'm doing at the moment a very experimental and actually quite time consuming train build design which won't be coming up incredibly soon uh, for obvious reasons but I have started collecting all the pieces so that's what this train base is for uh, people have already started asking me where I'm going to be putting uh, the my own train train that I'm doing at the moment correctly pointing out that I've only got two train lines and I've already got three trains so adding a fourth and well this will be a fifth 
Oh, God, I've got a real problem. Um, you know, where am I going to put them? And I haven't got any plans for any new train lines at all. I'm just going to swap all my trains around a lot more. So <laughs> and probably not the cargo one because it's just so long. It You know, it takes up so much space if you take it off that track. So I'm probably going to have four trains, uh, all passenger trains, uh, sharing the passenger line. And I'll probably be able to run two at any one time, uh, but no more than that because two is hard to keep uh, under control on, on one line as it is without getting three involved. That would just be uh, crazy. So yeah, there's a train base for the wonderful new experimental one, which I can pretty much guarantee, no one will ever guess, so don't even try on this one, please, um, but that no other Lega channel has. I can, I can pretty much guarantee that. I'd be very surprised anyway. Right, so moving on. I've got uh, some mini doll characters, uh, and these are Melody, who is a character from the pop up party bus 70828. Uh, and I've kind of been a bit sort of, I don't know, not greedy, what's the right word? Uh, well, wasteful, perhaps, I suppose is the word, because I haven't uh, bought this for any of this. That I don't need at all. I've bought it for the wonderful pink afro hairdo which I actually have one in my city sort of in use near the uh, cinema. But I thought that that looked like a wonderful sponge coral for under the sea. So it's been a bit indulgent, that's the word I'm looking for, a bit indulgent to buy a whole minifigure or mini doll uh, just for the hairpiece. But that's what I've done, <laughs> uh, aided by the fact that it was a very generous uh, free uh, order from my perspective, which made me... Uh, uh, very tempted by just these hair pieces. I actually got two of those. Oh no, tell a lie. I've actually got three of those to make a wonderful patch of sponges. So if anybody wants a free Melody character without the hair, then uh, do get in touch by the normal channels. <laughs> so there's three lovely pink sponges, and I think that bobbly texture will go really well next to those Marge Simpson hair pieces that I got uh, the last time. So that's very nice. Uh, oh, here's a very interesting piece. So this is from a Hidden Side set, uh, JB Submarine 70433, and it's the kind of dome on the front of the submarine. And I nearly bought that set, to be honest, but I've probably got enough submarines already without a sort of comedy one. But I did decide to buy this dome with the sort of graffiti on because I thought that uh, somebody could have uh, graffitied one of the subs that I've already got that I'll be using in my undersea setup. So uh, I might try that on one of those. It's quite funny to have a face on the front of one saying, what sub? Uh, and number one. So that looks really nice. Very well protected in that bag. And from that same set, there's actually some tree limb pieces, which I've got loads in different colours, but it's these ones that are unique to that set, these small ones in medium azure. And I wanted those for coral. And I'll probably use them rather than in a clump like this, I'll probably use them individually. And they're just really bright. I mean, that is a wonderful colour for under the sea. So that's what they're for. Uh, and while I was there, I've got some uh, lime ones mainly, and a few of these dark pink or magenta ones as well. So they're really nice to have. Talking of hidden side. Cheap minifigure parts. So this is Jack Davids, the character from Hidden Side. And it's not so much for this setup that I want because I've got Jack Davids a couple of times already from the sets that I did buy. But because everyone bought loads of those Hidden Side sets and because in every single one you probably got a Jack or a Parker or both, the price of these has gone really down because, well, everyone's got one. But I figure there's some really great parts in here. I mean, that hair and uh, hat, piece is amazing. That face can easily be used on a ride or on a game when someone's won perhaps. That top's very usable and there's some nice trousers with a sort of, uh, well, bone it looks like, doesn't it? Hanging from a hook on the pocket. But it could be a key ring or something like that. But yeah, so those are for parts really. But at the price they're going for, that's a very good deal. Uh, and very likewise indeed, here is a Parker character as well from Another one of the Hidden Side sets. I mean, there's too many to mention, really. And on this one, again, for parts, we've got ripped jeans, a sort of top with a uh, bum bag or fanny pack across the shoulder there. Uh, another nice head with sort of grin and a nervous look. And best of all, I think, this dual moulded hair piece, purple hair and headphones. What teenager wouldn't want to have that? 
fantastic. So yeah, very cost effective purchases there. Right, so for this new, very experimental train build, I need lots of red parts. So that's pretty much all for that build. And there's some wedge plates in there, some slopes, inverted slopes, Technic pieces. I need black pieces for it. And this is by no means all of the pieces I need for it, but it's just some of the earlier ones that were available in this store. So those are sort of, what are they? Don't know what they're called, bracket pieces? Don't know. Um, Technic uh, plates and so on. What else was for that? Some wedge uh, slopes, plates, all for that new project. Uh, were these white? Well, yeah, I think these white ones are for that project as well. So we've just got some white slopes, some white uh, bracket pieces, some white modified bricks. Not very interesting in their own right, but definitely when they get added together, they will be. Uh, and then some dark grey things. I've got some modified plates, those ones. Those sort of angular bricks. I think those ones are for under the sea because they're very useful. Then I've got some turntable pieces because I want to have some uh, moving things under the sea. And these hold those rock pieces from the Atlantis sets, which will have those sort of key things on. So I've got a few of those. There's a bogey plate for my train. Uh, yeah, white plates for the train build as well. I'm really looking forward to building that, actually. I'm going to have to do a few more orders before I've got all the pieces to do it, though, sadly. And some window glass for the same train build. I can't remember why I got these uh, neon um, one by one round bricks. I think it must be for under the sea, probably for building plants with or something like that. Uh, but I do remember why I got these short chains, and that was to do a suggestion, or at least try a suggestion of many of you, uh, for the shunter build that I did when I did my shunter train on the back of a flatbed uh, train carriage. Uh, a lot of people suggested I put a chain on each corner to kind of secure it in place from sort of uh, moving around in transit. So I've actually got five of those, but I'll only need four clearly to do that. Uh, so I'll give that a go. Uh, so should I give you a bedoying now? or I'll give you a bedoying now as well. So that's for that idea. <laughs> Whether it works or not is another question, so maybe that bedoying is premature. <laughs> uh, here's some window pieces, and those are for the train as well, actually, even though they're these sort of castle ones with the arch at the top, uh, and a couple of uh, those kind of two long cheese wedge pieces in grey as well, light grey. Yeah, more undersea stuff, I know. But I couldn't help myself in this case because there's some clamshell pieces or scallop shell pieces, depending on how you describe them, in coral pink, which is rather wonderful. Now, these are uh, only in a couple of sets, including the 41430 Summer Water Fun Park, which is a pretty interesting set, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if we see that a bit more in the future with, uh, you know, all of those interesting tube pieces and undersea pieces. Uh, but what I like about the coral colour is it does actually fresh a little bit under UV light. So when we've got UV light uh, in that undersea setup, uh, and this is on view, it's going to kind of glow like that. So that's kind of interesting, much like those neon pieces do there. So I think it'll be a really interesting effect. So there we go. So that's why I bought those ones. And while I was there, probably from the same set, I don't know, there's some of these older, smaller, sort of foldable types in white. So they're good fun as well. Uh, and then last bag, not the biggest order this one, but definitely interesting, I think. Uh, was a whole load of interesting stuff. This is probably the most interesting bag of all. First of all, we've got a printed piece, not stickered, uh, of this kind of rug, I suppose, or mat. And it's very colourful and it's actually from a Frozen set and I'm not sure if that's uh, a very significant uh, sort of feature in the Frozen movies <laughs> that this uh, is actually uh, an interesting rug but nonetheless it's from uh, 41166 Elsa's Wagon Adventure so uh, yeah if this has some uh, particular significance maybe you'll let me know in the comments section otherwise I'm just going to use it as a regular rug for sale or just in somebody's home then I've got this one which is unique to one set, and it's obviously a picture of a diamond, uh, and it was kind of to represent a jeweler's window in 60241, police dog unit. 
Uh, and I don't know where I'm going to use that either, but it's a very nice uh, tile. Could be an album cover even, couldn't it, in my record store when I finally get around to that. Uh, oh, must have got two of those. There we go. Second one of that. So maybe I could use them for a sign. Ah, and then, da, 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 the last video tile that I need. The one with the kind of Marilyn Monroe type picture on it. Uh, and that looks rather fantastic. That almost has to be uh, an album cover, I think. But now I do have all of the first wave tiles. I'm not sure if I'm that bothered about the second wave now. <laughs> I've kind of scratched that itch. Uh, but, you know, when it comes to it, I'll probably start collecting them. But you know me. Cool. So that's really nice to have. I really like that one. That arguably that made my favourite of all of them. Now, there are a few uh, kind of uh, rock metal album ones that I really like as well. Uh, some pink curved slopes and lots of unicorn horns. Now, I was trying to sort of find a colour of unicorn horn to use, yes, under the sea, um, that I could represent some sort of weird shaped coral. And I wanted to get one where I could get a lot of one colour for relatively cheap because they aren't cheap yet, these pieces. Uh, but these were the cheapest that I've seen so far in this uh, bright light blue colour. So I guess that's the colour I'm going to go for. And at least it's good contrast to virtually everything else I've got under the sea. So I really like those as well. So a rather wonderful collection of pieces. I'm just going to rescue this sticker sheet from underneath all of these because I don't want these getting damaged at all or scratched. That is definitely the highlight. But we have got a wonderful monster truck this week. I'm tempted to kind of run over everything with this monster truck, but I don't want to do any damage to anything. So maybe I'll just leave that up there. Uh, I've got all the stuff that came with that, of course, uh, like the uh, minifigures and the uh, squatting dog, <laughs> which I'll probably take apart because I've already got a real dog collection. Uh, so I think it's been a really fantastic week of purchases. And that's before we get to the Daily Bugle build, which... Well, it's really fighting uh, for uh, prevalence on the channel, really, because we've got uh, so many other things to add, the fairground to do, the current train build, which is the steam train. I've just got too much on my plate. I want to get doing the record store and the supermarket as well. But when will I get to it all? Anyway, uh, any ideas for any of these pieces, do let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> Well, I think you'll agree that that was a rather fun haul, very diverse. I'm very much looking forward to deploying my monster burger 4x4 monster truck in my fairground. Uh, you'll have to let me know if you think I should make the amendments or keep it as it is. Uh, I'm also really looking forward to deploying these stickers on my own train or my own steam train build, which I'll either be doing part two of on Friday or Monday. I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, but the best part of the order was obviously the very generous uh, donation from David, what a generous soul he is, uh, of the Bricklink order in its entirety. So fantastic thanks again for that. Uh, so as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. Do let me know if you've got any fantastic ideas for any of these pieces that we've looked at today. But otherwise, if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. But until next time, see you!